Hi, so I don't know when my husband presses record, so there'll be a blooper for next Friday. Oh, I might need to explain that one. Um, okay, so this is a fall down, fall down. Let's give, let's do a fall down, fall down, fall, fall, fall down. Okay, it's fall down. I'm excited about this one. Okay, and whips. I, I'm going to show you all my whips. Some of them. We're going to do what Just a Crochet Sister, Linda, Just a Crochet Sister did. I will link her video below. Please go check her out. It's got a lot of new subscribers, she said, and that's wonderful. But I will link her video because it inspired me to look because I've been afraid to look in these bags and see what's in there. Okay, fold down. This is a whole set, but, and then some. You know what? Let me start with the, I don't know if I've shown these, so forgive me. Um, no, I didn't weave in the ends. These are slipper, slipper socks for a Christmas present, uh, for a friend, but I did shorties instead of the long ones like Llama Mama Kayla does. And, um, of course I did the ribbing at the top. I think they came out cute. It's a very soft yarn and have a ball band on it. But, um, yeah, so I'm excited about these. My goodness, my hair was okay. So there's those, and then and where this person lives, it's not real. It doesn't get real cold, I don't think. And so I thought these would be perfect, but I did gotta get them sent to her. And then I did, I think I've shown this, but we'll do it again. Um, then I did a, a double crochet beanie um, with the ribbing. And fingerless gloves to match with that. And I know they're not woven. They will be with fingerless gloves. Just a double crochet and a ribbing at the bottom. You know, and sew it up the side. Those are cool. Well, maybe you're getting a pair. Um, so there's that. Not this pair. But okay, so then the one I'm excited about. It's a whole set. I'm leaving the biggest, wonderful, most wonderful part for the last. I did a ear warmer. I, I, if I go to a if I go to the craft show on Saturday, I'm gonna try to sell this and this set. And I've got some towels I gotta work on. But um, you got hair on your face, Missy. I'm gonna fix her up. Don't mind her. Um, I'm gonna paint her eventually. But here's the ear warmer. I just did you know a basic um doing the back loop all the way around um, single crochet so it's um, you know it's nice and stretchy um, and this was using Cynthia crochet more in May Croch crochet and more May that's it she had sent me um, some happy mail and the is it coral ombre I think it's coral she had sent me some a whole skein and a part of the skein it's red heart, 100% uh, acrylic, four weight, I don't know how many yards. So I made, I used that for this. Okay. Oh, and in this video also would be pictures of the unicorn that I never put in there that I had made for my great niece. It was partly made out of some of this too. Um, I kept forgetting to put that. So that'll be, if I, I gotta remember to put the pictures in, but if I can find them. Okay. And then there is these fingerless gloves that I used alt knots tutorial for. They're very stretchy. I just added some ribbing, um, extra ribbing here and made them a little bit longer over the, these knuckles. I love this color, y'all. So um, they don't quite match because they're the ombre, but that's okay because I think it makes it unique and it just goes with the whole set when you see what else I made. So these, I will link that tutorial below. I love the way these work up. I really do love these. I made Ashley a pair and I made me some Halloween ones and I may make me some Christmas ones. So keep watching. I, I mean, I, I would love for y'all to, um, oh, this is Manic Mama Musings. This is Neva. Hi. Late introduction. <laughs> and if you don't, you haven't ever watched my channel, you probably right about now think I'm back crazy, but, and I am a little. 
um, I'm doing an FO video and whips, you know, fold down and whip it into shape. I have to come up with something cute for the whips. So, but I do a fold down sometimes. You, it should have been standing up, but I am in my pajamas because I've had some down days and not feeling so great. Okay, so back to the FOs, finished objects. So there's the fingerless gloves and then this. Okay, so I can't really get it to fit right with this on, but I was not going to get all dressed up to put this on and then, or should I? Pause that real quick. Had to take a station break for a wardrobe change because I decided it would not go over my nightie very well. And y'all didn't want to see me trying to put this on anyway. So, this is... Crystal put this... Bag of Day. Crystal from Bag of Day. She put this out. Okay, just talk amongst yourselves. Check out the cat behind me. Something. I'll find the name of it. Lucy. I mean, I will put the link, but let me, um, Lucy, what are you doing? I'll never trust her. She's suspicious. Don't, that's a mess. Don't show people that. I'm not. Just trying to show my mess off, y'all. Okay, let's see. Everybody, tell her I'm a good boy. <sighs> no. The best. You focusing on her, you know? Don't do that. <laughs> Oh, it's a mess over here. All my drinks and whatnot. Okay, how far back is it? I didn't think it was... Well, it was. Okay, so she did it three weeks ago. It's the Easy Crochet Mobius Wrap Slash Infinity Scarf. That's a long name. But I will link it below. Mine... Oh, mine probably... I think I should have made it for my... If I was making it for myself... But yet I might sell it. And so I had to kind of go in between. Because y'all you know I'm a big girl. Okay, now I'm messing with it. ain't looking right. It's supposed to go. It's supposed to be on my shoulders. Well, anyway, it looks real good on her thing. I'd have to mess with it. And I can't see myself. But I think that's about like how it's supposed to be. That looks about right. You can watch the tutorial. But it is her Easy Crochet Mobius Wrap Slash Infinity Scarf. And I love it. It is so easy to make and comes out so beautiful. And I love it in this ombre yarn. And so I'm excited because I've only made like some of her hats. So this first thing I made that wasn't a hat. Oh, and I made a, a cow. So this is kind of a cow, but a shawl. I like it as a shawl. I love this, guys. And I, if this does, if this sells, or even if it doesn't, I might donate it to Hartley House for Christmas. But I am going to get the yarn, this same yarn, or maybe the teal, and make me a set. Because this is, can you imagine? Like, you know, ta-da! You know, I'm not going to put it all back on. But I love it. So if you, I like it because shawls, out, I don't have a shawl pin for one. And plus shawls, I don't always just, I, I like something to put on that um, I can just leave on if I'm going to be somewhere cold. It's not, you get the idea. I like the fact that it's shawl like, but it's on me and it's not real long. So it's not going to get super hot. There you go. With some fingerless gloves and uh, ear warmer. Perfect. So. I love it. Thank you, Crystal, for this pattern. Once again, do the fold down. Yeah, do the fold down. Do the fold down. Ah, ah, do the fold down. Okay. <laughs> Enough of that nonsense. If this is your first time, you really do think I'm crazy now. Okay, glasses gotta go back up because I can't. Alrighty. So, next. Ooh, this is an old one. This was for my sister's birthday in February and I never finished it. Alrighty then. She's so, still waiting for it to this day. She hasn't said anything, but I'm sure she's wondering what happened to it. So this <laughs> is a pocket shawl or pocket scarf, actually, that has to have a hood. And I don't remember what tutorial I was watching, so I'm going to have to find the tutorial and put the hood because she wanted a hood. But it needs a hood and one more pocket. See, I got one pocket on. I got to put the other pocket on. So this will be... Um, 
this this I will finish this will not get frogged this is called keep it or frog it and uh -huh. this one will stay um, I'm drink this is I'm drinking what kind of coffee did you make me the one that your friend sent uh, the oh Cindy cookie the, the cinnamon sugar cookie yep and with pumpkin spice right yes Pups and crochet shout out it's so yummy I think that's my favorite one with pumpkin spice. It's better than the pumpkin spice coffee with the pumpkin spice in it. It's delicious. Okay, this one is... Oh, this is from last Christmas. Well, I started it after Christmas, I think. Me and my niece had decided she was going to make me leg warmers and because we both crochet. I was going to make her Santa's favorite hat. That will be linked below. Um, that is by the Crochet Witch, Heather the Crochet Witch. And so I I will finish that for her. She wanted purple. So that will get finished. I don't know if it'll get finished before this Christmas. It needs to be. It may be something I work on throughout December. So y'all can see my progress. What's in this bag? Okay, so I didn't show y'all which this bag is. It says uh, feeling spacey, which, you know, that's a lot of days for me. Brain fog. And then this is a tea dottles bag. I got... Probably LJ got it for me. Yep. But I loved it because it had barnyard animals. It's well, a pig and a rooster and a chicken and a cow. And y'all know I'm a country girl. So I absolutely adore this bag. And I love tea dottles. And then there's strawberries, which my mom loves strawberries on the inside. So awesome. This one is from Karen. Mm, I can't remember her last name. I got it. I found it on Instagram a good year or more ago. It's a big bag and it's holding little stuff, but it was a doll I was doing with Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet that I'm not sure where the pattern went. I have the pattern somewhere that I've got to finish up. She, I think all she needs is to be sewn together and for me to do her dress and her hair. So let's see if I can find that pattern and get back to that but that that's for after Christmas but it will get finished I've done enough of it that I mean that'll be like the first doll doll with arms and legs I've ever done like not counting teddy bears and whatnot. but this one I know what this one is this is um I got this from where did I get this from that's cute I think my beautiful friend Ali Elisa um <coughs> sent this one to me and um I am using a Hobby Lobby yarn. I don't have ball bands on it. I'm doubling it up. And this is one of Darla's dresses that I'm doing for my friend Priscilla. It will get finished, but probably not till after Christmas. So that stays. We keep it. We'll finish it, just not. Ooh, sorry, guys. Okay, next. This is a bag my daughter got me at Goodwill that I absolutely adore because it's hippie like. That I'll probably turn back into a purse and put my project in something else. But for now, it is holding. I start, okay, if you watched Crochet Tober and watched Ashley from Stitching It Easy's videos, I made her a project bag out of this. And my goal before October was to make me one, a big one, like a tote sized one. And I didn't get very far because I got a lot. Um, the dress I got distracted by crochet tober. Is that all? And then this I did not get done before October and just haven't worked on it since, unfortunately. But it is going to be um, a tote. You'll see what it looks like when I get it done. But um, that will get done after Christmas. Um, Lucy, you're too nosy. These are shawls uh -huh. that I started last year, I think. And uh, this one, I was going to put pockets on, but I think I'm going to finish it up and just leave it as a wrap. It's made out of homespun. So it's going to be super warm, even though it's got some holes. And I get to fill in this yarn, and I really think that I want to make a blanket out of some of this. Like, I think that would be a very warm blanket, but not necessarily these colors. I do love these colors, though. And so they're very fall-like colors. 
And the person it was for, well, she's probably given up on me now. This, um, um, I think this is the case. So I'm getting to Rewind. Um, I don't know what that was. This is the same pattern. It's the pocket shawl. But I don't know who I was making it for. Yes, I do. I remember I was making it for my friend Lisa's mom. So I apparently got to finish this one too. Um, so that will be a finish. I was thinking I was going to frog the blue one. This one I have too much done. I'm not putting pockets on it. I'm going to finish up the shawl part of the blue one, make the pockets, and then Lisa can sew them on for her mom. Because then she can put them exactly where her mom wants them. Okay. Because they don't live here or I could go do it myself. This was a... What is it? Someone asked me to make it. A commission. That's it. And then she changed her mind and I've got it almost all done. So I'm finishing this up for somebody. I'm going to give it as a gift. It's a surprise. So um, it's just like the one that I made. It's the uh, crochet crowd. Their um, modern <clears throat> granny shrug, I believe. I will try to remember to put all of the tutorials. This will get finished after Christmas, and I'll remember try to remember to put all the. Now I got all kinds of hairs on me, but I, say, um, I love the color of that. It looked like it was hand painted, like a hand painting. It's that happy yarn that I had you searching for that time. I love that. It looks like like somebody just painted something and then it's a ombre. And then turned it yeah. into a shawl. It is mandala ombre in the happy color way. That's my and favorite. I line. love it too. And so this is going to get finished for somebody after, shortly after Christmas and sent off. So that stays. I thought I was going to be frogging some stuff. Now I'm kind of sad because all these backs got to go back. <laughs> okay, so this one is going to get frogged. I have, or maybe it's not. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this. I thought I was going to make an air warmer, but I actually think that I want to make a cat blanket with this. Because my cats love my homemade blankets. And so I think I might make either a dog rug or a cat rug with this. Depends on how big this will, this one ball. LJ got it for me last year for um, the Advent. And it's um, Premier Home something, I think. Premier home. I don't know, but it's very bulky, really soft and squishy, and I think it would make a really good cat or dog rick. And so there's that. That one, okay, will get frogged and turned into something else. This will not get frogged. This is my homeless mat that I was working on. I'm still working on it. I've just taken, I've been working on other stuff like cats and stuff that work up faster. And now I've got to be working on Christmas presents, but I will, I will start working on it again and I will be making more. I've decided from now on once Christmas, cause Christmas is like a craft show slash present time that I will, after that, I'm going to start making Christmas presents earlier or craft show stash earlier. But I'm going to like work on one and then another, like uh, every other one will be like um, donation. So it doesn't look all that wonderful. Wadi from Enjoying the Journey Cancer's Lifestyle, she makes them. Oh, this is a, mine looks a little wonky right now, but it's mainly just for them to lay on the ground to lay on. So the ground's not so cold. I'm not sure why this is all, but, but anyway. Is that as easy to work with as yarn? No. Oh. Hurts my hands, but once you get going and if you get the right hook, it kind of slides. Oh, oh, this was a hat. Okay, this was stuck in there. This is probably going to get frogged. I have an idea for this. Um, I fell in love with this yarn. Oh, that kind of is pretty, though. Maybe I'll make a... I'm not sure I'm going to do this yarn. I don't know how easily... Let's see how easily it frogs. Oh, not easy at all, so I'm apparently f finishing this because... Now frogging it. So this will be a hat and maybe some fingerless gloves to match. That would be very pretty. So that, that can't be frogged. It would have been, but I am not wasting yarn and I'm not ripping that out. Cannot self-destruct. Well, 
<laughs> I will self-destruct if I have to frog back. Okay, let's see what's in this bag. <laughs> this one is going to get frogged, and I'm going to start over because I don't remember what um, tutorial I was following. But I'm going to... I don't remember which one, but this is the puzzle yarn. Let me see if the band is in here. Um, but it's Premier Puzzle. And I'm going to make me a Ruana out of it because it is so warm and absolutely squishy. And I adore this color and this yarn. So I was making myself a Ruana from this. This will get frogged and I will start over after Christmas and find a tutorial, not necessarily the tutorial. This is in, I haven't been talking about my bags. This one I got from Michael's. It was um, around Juneteenth, I think, or Black Lives Matter. Anyway, um, I got this, and <coughs> this bag I got from Earthbound, and I absolutely love it with the tree. That's cool. The other one was a, some bank. Um, <laughs> this one is um, a No Catchy Name bag that my friend Elisa gifted me that I absolutely love. It's got the the villainous, villainesses. Well, no, it's just got two of them. It's got um, Maleficent and... Uh, oh. Cruella de Vil. Cruella, Cruella, Cruella de Vil. De Vil. Okay. It's got her on it. And then she also sent me a little drop of wonderful pin. And I really want to make um from uh -huh. Allie a little drop of wonderful. Um she has a pattern for the Amigurumi. And I think I'm gonna buy the pattern because I want to make a few of those as Christmas presents if I have time. Because it's absolutely adorable and you know, most of the people in my life. Okay, I get to, I get to frog this one. This started out being a strawberry gnome. I know I have the pattern somewhere, but you know what? I'm going to frog it and just ball up the yarn until I'm ready to do the gnome. Like I'm to sit down and concentrate on it. Let's see. What's, this is just a purse that my friend Priscilla gave me that I can't show you what's in it because it's a present. Oh. Ooh, so that's what happened to my present. Okay, so this one, my kids don't watch. I, I, they know I'm making blankets, but... So, um, Rihanna wanted hers to be yellow and white. So I'm doing 12 white squares and 12 yellow squares and crocheting them together. I'll show you the yellow ones. I know some are bigger and smaller. I'm going to line them in white anyway. But mostly just granny squares, different types of granny squares. I had started out with tea dottles. She had a crochet along going on, and I fell off of that, so I did these. Sorry if I'm in a hurry. I'm trying not to go over, so I don't have to put two of them together. And then her honey wanted blue and white, so I've started his blue ones. I've got the yellow ones done. I've got to, I've started his blue ones. I've got to do 12 of these, and then I'll do 24 in all of white, because his is blue and white, hers is yellow and white, and then i got to sew them all together. And I started in Melissa's blankets, so when I tell y'all that I'm dreaming of blankets, you'll know why. And I'm going to try to make everybody a pair of slippers to match their blanket. That's fingers crossed. I stuffed them. I got a lot to do. but um, So I hope you enjoyed this. I will do my very best to put all the tutorials down below. And who I mentioned, if I forget somebody, please just tell me. And I will link them below for you. I, I do forget. I should write it all down, but this was a lot. I love y'all, and I hope you enjoy, enjoy the fold down and the whip it into shape. And apparently I didn't whip it good enough because I'm only frogging one thing. One. <laughs> one, y'all. Okay. Bye. One more thing I forgot. Um, Hopefully you kept watching. There is a picture of my dear friend and subscriber, Sarah, who is wearing a sweater she made uh, from Crochet A Canada Sandy um, that the picture will be. And she's with her dog, Blazer, and he's adorable. And so I did not want y'all to, to miss out on the picture. So if you're still watching, just watch that pictures at the beginning. I'm going to put it at the beginning so you'll see it, but I wanted to explain that that's Sarah and one of my wonderful subscribers slash friends and her wonderful work on Sandy's um, sweater. So, okay, now I can go. <laughs>